Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have the first unboxing video of 2022. However, that being said, this is actually a remaining box from December 2021. So this is the Allure Beauty Box from December 2021. What happened was this was delivered the day that I left or maybe the day after I left New York City to go home for the holidays. As a result, this was at my PO Box for the past few weeks and I finally was able to get in and pick it up. So this is again the December 2021 Allure Beauty Box and I'm a little bit worried because I did watch a couple of spoiler videos, not spoiler videos, unboxing videos and also saw some reviews online that there might be a little bit of an issue with my box but we will see what it's like when I open it. This is also the final box in my paid for subscription from 2020. Basically what happened was I skipped a bunch of boxes and it just like kept pushing my end date a little bit further out. I did however renew my subscription um, after turning off the auto renew just because I wanted to make an assessment of my collection and then also like what the spoilers were looking like. So I did renew it in January. So my next box will be coming in a couple of weeks. So I'll have that coming up for you just because I really like the spoilers. So let me just get started by also saying that this is $23 per month if you do a month to month, but you can get a cheaper per box price by paying up front. Um, and actually I got an email after I canceled for an even better price. Um, so I was able to take advantage of that when I renewed my subscription. So let me just crack it open here. Okay, so I have cracked it open. Let's see. I'm hoping that it's not shattered and a mess. Okay, so so far it doesn't look like super bad yet, but um, the magazine is on top. Um, so Lure Beauty Box always gives this little bit of a pamphlet and then other like paper in here. So I'm going to just open it up and this is the magazine. So it's the little brochure and they do it in every box and they give you some tips and tricks about the products and some um, usage tips. I think it's a really great added benefit for the subscription personally. Um, so this is the first item and this is why I wanted this box to come before I left but unfortunately it didn't happen. Um, so let me find that in the box. Okay also I want to just say that so far this doesn't look like it has a shattered issue. I did get the eyeshadow quad that everyone said did cause an issue but it did not appear to explode in my package but I'm um, just letting you know that. So this is that first product and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Sheet and this one is in the shade Pillow Talk. Basically I think I had the option to choose between three different shades and I ended up going with the Pillow Talk one because I think I read reviews about <laughs> from people with like similar complexions to me and they basically all had said that this was going to be the best one for me. Um, so I don't really use lip liner that much. It doesn't really surprise anyone, but I figured like if I'm going to try it I want to try it with one of the one that's like the cult classic sort of products So it says you're getting a full-size lip liner a $22 value from Charlotte Tilbury The makeup artist who is famous for creating sexy pillowy lips for icons like Kate Moss and Jennifer Lopez Tilbury whose social media following is about as large as the entire population of New Zealand Packaged her recipe for beautifully fuller softer lips in this creamy convenient and easy to use pencil You're getting one of three gorgeous neutral shades. So Pillow Talk Original, Pillow Talk Medium, and Pillow Talk Intense. So I think I went with the original one um, just because it had the word original in it. Um, I'm going to try to speed through this video because it's been very loud in my neighborhood. Um, so we got our first snow so that always means there's like manhole um, explosions and like fires and stuff so it's a lot of fire trucks and there's also um, steam heat and I'm very hot right now so I'm trying not to get too sweaty on camera. But this is $22 and it is full size so the, there is a discount code so if you want to use it you can use Allure15 at checkout to receive 15% off your first order excluding bundles, hampers, I don't know what a hamper is, <laughs> gift cards and virtual services and it's valid through January and it's valid through January 31st, 2022, and it's at charlottetilbury.com slash US. So let me just pop this open. Let me actually see first. So it does not look like there are any, like, um, what's it called? Fragrance added, but uh, let me see here. So actually when I went to the Nordstrom um, event, uh, I think it'll be on a future vlog, um, they were handing out some of these and I just like got too overwhelmed so I didn't go to the booth. Um, but I remember texting my friend about it. Um, so I am going to try to use this sometime this week. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about the steam heat. Um, so I'm going to open it and swatch it. So this is what it looks like here. It is super easy to apply. I barely put any pressure on. So I now understand what people say when they're like, oh, it's so creamy, it glides on so smoothly, but this is what the shade looks like. Um, so I think it's like going to be an okay shade for my mouth, but we'll see if that works. Um, I'm going to move on to the next item. The next item is another full size, and this one I'm also quite excited about. Um, but you know me, I really love skincare, and um, moisturizers is like one of those items I really enjoy getting, but then I always feel like I'm gonna go through them a lot faster than I actually do. So this is a full-size moisturizer, and this one is from Beauty Stat. 
Um, so I haven't actually heard of this brand before that much, but I have been reading reviews and everyone says how great it is. This is the Beauty Stat Universal Pro Bio Moisture Boost Cream. And it says, cosmetic chemist Ron Robinson has made moisturizers and serums for the world's fanciest skincare brands, and now he's bottling his years of skin smoothing, glow inducing knowledge into his own line, Beauty Step. You're getting a full size jar of soothing gel cream, a $50 value that floods skin with hyaluronic acid and ceramides for a bouncy, dewy complexion. Um, so it says that this is light in texture so that it layers well on top of other products. And then you can use it as own, morning or night, topped with sunscreen in the morning, or over serums or toners. Um, so this is a $50 value, and there is a promo code. It's Allure25 at checkout to receive 25% off your order through February 1st, 2022, and it's at beautystat.com. Um, I'm going to quickly turn on the fan because it's like super hot because the steam is like super on. It's like 100 degrees in my apartment, so hold on. Okay, so I am back. I had to turn on the fan. Sorry, it's just so hot. Um, this is one of the struggles of living in a pre-war building, so I can't control my heat, so it's steam heat from a radiator. Um, so it's just gonna be loud like this. There's no other way to do it. It just turns on at will. Um, so this is the Beauty Stat, and it's for all skin, and it is full size at one ounce or 30 grams. Um, there are some interesting ingredients in here, including things like pomegranate, Asian mushroom extract, white birch, and things like that but I don't see any added fragrance but I might have just missed it and this is made in the US and it says smooth on as your hydration step over universal sea skin refiner twice daily fragrance free dermatologist tested and it's good for six months after opening um, what else yeah so it has like some very interesting claims and things like that so let me open it so this is what the container looks like. So um, as I was saying, I really like using skincare and moisturizers. This one is actually pretty small, so it's actually a pretty good one for if I'm on the road or something, which will likely happen again soon. Um, so I'm going to not open it quite yet, um, but like put my fingers in it, but I'm going to open it just to show you. So it does have a little bit of a seal. It's one of those lift tab seals. It has a B, it has a B on it for their like branding. And this is what the texture looks like in here. It's kind of like, um, yeah, it looks like a gel cream, but it has a little bit of um, thickness to it. Sometimes the gel consistency is usually a little bit more runny in my experience than typical creams, but this one is like an in between a gel and a cream. So I'm very excited to try this out. The next product is, I believe, another full size, but I might be wrong about that. And this one is from Hero Cosmetics. It's the lightning wand. Tranexamic acid is showing up in more and more brightening products for good reason. It helps even out skin tone and is a great fit for all skin types and complexions. The serum combines the trendy brightener with two veterans, vitamin C and licorice root. So it has a roller ball in it and it says that you put it over the hyperpigmentation lines like sunspots or dark marks that tend to creep up after blemishes, um, but don't use it on an active breakout. So that's something that I need to keep in mind. I actually do have a really dark spot here. I try to cover it with concealer, so we'll see if that actually happened. Um, but I will be definitely using this. I don't have an active breakout right now. I just have like pimples from last week um, from traveling. Basically, I was just wearing masks all the time. So um, it kind of caused me to have some irritation and acne. And this has a $20 value. And I think it is full size. But again, I'm not entirely sure. You buy it at herocosmetics.com. And there is a 20% off code. You can use Allure21 at checkout to receive 20% off your single item. And it cannot be used with any other discounts and is valid through February 1st, 2022. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to keep it in the package just because I want to take a photo of it. Actually, no, I'll take it out. <laughs> Sorry, it was like one of those split time decisions. It is 5 ml or 0.16 fluid ounces. So actually, I think this might not be full size um, now that I'm reading it. Let me see actually if they have the photo and I have like good enough vision to see what the um, photo says. Okay, yeah, so this is um, a mini. So the full size on the photo is 10 ml, so this is half size. So this probably has a $10 value. And this one is made in South Korea if you're interested in that. Oh, I do have to use it quite quickly. It expires in April 12th, 2022, so that's in a couple of months now. Um, so good thing I opened it, I guess. Um, it says squeeze the bottle to release the formula glide rollerball directly onto dark spot apply two times per day until dark spot looks brighter um, It does have quite a few extracts and things in here Let me try to get it into focus for you, but I don't think I see any like added fragrance um, But some of the extracts will probably have fragrance to them just in my previous experiences. Okay, so let me open it Okay, this is like 
it's teeny tiny. Um, so I guess I would have known that it was a mini by opening it. Um, but let me just see here. It comes with like a little bit of a pamphlet. I guess this, this is like um, some of the drug facts and things like that. Okay, the pamphlet doesn't really give you any info. It has some other info about their other products. Actually, when I was shopping at Target um, at home, um, they were handing out free samples of these Mighty Patch. Where did they go? These ones, the red ones. Um, they were so okay. They're just kind of like um, hydrocolloid patches. So personally, I like the Next Care ones from um, 3M better. They're also like significantly less expensive <laughs> in my experience, at least. Um, but the Hero ones are fine in a pinch, and I didn't pay for them because they were samples. But yeah. Anyway, this is what it looks like here. So I'm going to open it just because I will be using it on these pimple spots here. Our dark spots, not pimple spots. There are no pimples there right now. But there is that little roller ball at the top like they mentioned. Um, I'm not going to put it on my hand because I don't like putting skincare right directly on my hand with the applicator just in case because I always wash my hands before I do that. But anyway I will move on to the next item and this is the one I was worried about. So this is from Floss. It's the eyeshadow it's the eyeshadow squad in Just Peachy. Um, so reviews I saw online on um, what's it called Reddit people were saying that this came is shattered so I'm kind of scared. <laughs> because I just like put down and like cleaned up my carpeting in here so I don't want it to be messy. Um, it says this collection of matte and shimmery peachy shades is a fun way to reimagine neutral eyeshadow. Peach is softer than the usual brown which makes it surprisingly easy to wear and more playful too. Um, so this has a $24 value and there is a coupon code. It's squad20 at checkout to receive 20% off your order um, and it's good through January 31st 2022 at flossitup.com. So this is made in this is made in China, so this is the info here for you. Um, I don't see any fragrance or anything. I always just like to tell you that because ever since I got that one mascara that had fragrance in it, I've been scared. <laughs> that came from BoxyCharm. Um, I, it made my eyes really irritated, so I just always check now. Okay, so I'm opening it over the box just in case. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a nice kind of aesthetic sort of look. It has like a frosted plastic here. So I'm gonna open it carefully just in case it did break. Okay, phew, mine did not come shattered luckily, but these are some really wearable shades for me. Um, so this is definitely my style of eyeshadow. I know that like not everyone likes this, but I'm not like super into the colorful, colorful looks. Um, so I will definitely be keeping this. So I'm very happy with this product. And I don't remember if I said but this had a $24 value. Okay, the next product is an eye cream. So this is from Neo Lastin. It's the Revitalize and Firm Eye Cream. It says this cat this is the cashmere sweater of eye cream. So soft and comfy, you'll want to live in it in the winter, but better because it also smooths lines with peptides, a, a tried and true ingredient that dermatologists and cosmetic chemists love. The moisturizing formula is rich enough to keep delicate under eyes hydrated on the most blustery days, but not so heavy that it will smudge your makeup. Um, so this one, wow, $95 value for the full size. I don't know, actually. The photo that they have is 10 mLs, and then this one is 10 mLs. And this one is 10 mLs, so I'll do the math on the screen and I'll let you know if it really is a full size. But $95 for an eye cream is crazy expensive. Um, so I'm trying to think, like usually, yeah, I think usually the high creams that I buy are like 0.5 ounces. This is 0.3 ounces, so it could be possible. Um, this is made in the U.S. and it's made by Elastin Tech. Um, and this says sample, not for resale, but it might just be because um, I think sometimes BoxyCharm does this too, where they just put that on there so you can't try to return it to like Sephora or something. But this one does also have a seal. I'm going to open it. I'm still on the look for a new eye cream. So this is what the eye cream looks like. It does not have any sort of scent at all. It does have a slight, like, um cream color to it um so that's why i wanted to sniff test it unfortunately there is no ingredients list on here but i remember when i did my review video of the spoilers i believe there was one online um, so you could probably look at neolasting.com um, but this one is again a 95 dollars value for the full size you can buy it at neolasting.com and there is a 10 percent off coupon code allure 10 at checkout for a full size revitalize and eye cream and that's good through may 31st 2022 so since they said it's good for like the full size um my guess now is that this is not the full size so i'll like it i'll confirm on the screen the next product here is from neom no, 
I don't know how to pronounce it. It's um, a perfect night's sleep magnesium body butter. And it says, for the coziest of pre-bed rituals, treat your arms and legs to this rich moisturizer scented with relaxing lavender and sweet jasmine. You'll wake up to skin that is softer and more hydrated, so much so, much so that one editor now skips her usual morning body moisturizer. Um, so this has a $41 value at the full size, and according to the photo, the full size is 200 mLs or 6.76 fluid ounces, and this one is 30 mLs or 1.01 fluid ounces, and there is a coupon code for 20% off your order, Allure20, at checkout at usneomorganics.com. Um, so I'll see if I like this because actually, I don't know if you know, but I really do not like the scent of lavender. I'm starting to kind of get into like, rose is starting to be an okay scent to me, but lavender just is not it for me. So we'll see. There is a seal. So I'm smelling it through the packaging and it's like, yeah, I'm not getting much jasmine. I'm getting mainly lavender. Um, so we'll see. Um, I am going through body butter like crazy just because it's like winter and again my heat is like cranked up so high and I can't do anything about it. So my skin is basically just like peeling off so I'll probably get to it eventually because I also like hate buying lotion. Um, but yeah anyway I'm not going to totally reach for that right away just because I'm not a huge scent fan of lavender. Um, so there are a couple of other coupons in here. I think that was the last full size. I think that was the last item in the box that I'm going to use for calculating the value. Um, but there is another coup there is another sample in here, and this is like one of those marketing materials they just throw in as some added value. It's from Cetaphil. It's the healing ointment. It's a skin protectant for dry, chapped, or irritated skin. Um, it protects and relieves. It's suitable for babies, and it's um, accepted by the National Eczema.org and the National Eczema Association. So this is a teeny tiny sample, 0 0.35 fluid ounces, or 10 grams. Um, but again, my skin is just like soaking up everything that it needs, so I will definitely be using this. Um, also, I typically like Cetaphil, and it's actually pretty accessible and pretty inexpensive. Like, in terms of like the prices at the Target or whatever, it's kind of expensive, but when you think about it, you do the per unit price and everything like that, it's actually pretty inexpensive and you get like a huge jar of it. Um, so again, I will definitely try this out. Um, so that was everything in my December box. Um, overall, I do think this was a really useful box for me. That's probably why I chose it, obviously. I didn't skip this month. Um, so the um, makeup products this month were the um, lip liner that is here. Let me actually see if it's like smudging now. That wasn't part of like what I was planning on doing, but now since it's right here, it doesn't really smudge at all, actually. Um, yeah. And my hands are kind of sweaty because it's hot in here. So I think it's like a pretty wearable color for me. Again, I'll have to check it out. Um, and then also that eyeshadow palette, which I thought was pretty good. Um, the other the other variation for that eyeshadow palette was, um, what's it called? The Ciate London one that I use pretty much every day. Um, it's kind of a little bit more pigmented than I typically go for. Um, but maybe it's just because I'm like used to having lower quality eyeshadows. I just like it not to be so like in my face. Um, but then also the skincare products, I haven't really heard of these brands, really, if I'm being completely honest, except for Cetaphil, which was that marketing material, but that's just because I love shopping at Target. Um, but yeah, the other ones I'm pretty interested in trying out. The only one that I'm a little bit hesitant about is that body butter, but that's just a scent profile issue for me. Um, I am on the hunt for a new eye cream. Um, so eventually you'll see it in my vlog, but basically I went through two or three, no, Basically, I went through two eye creams that were like, uh, what's the word, expired by the time I got them. Um, so one of them I got from Cabin Fun, I chatted with customer service and they gave me a refund. And the other one I bought at CVS. Can't find my receipt, so I can't return it, but that was the Burt's Bees. And that one smelled rancid, so I just was like, I'm going to throw it away, I'm going to take it as a loss, it's fine. Um, but yeah, anyway, this one I'm hopeful that it'll be okay, but I also hope that it's not like super duper magical because $95 is very expensive for a full size eye cream. But yeah, that is everything in my Allure Beauty Box for December 2021. I'm very happy with it. And I'm very excited for my January 2022 box to come because again, eye cream, looking for one and there, and there is another one in that box and that one is one of the reasons why I actually chose to get the box. Um, so I'm going to quickly 
clean up a little bit and then also film the BoxyCharm versus Uller Beauty Box for December 2021 and I'll let you know what I think. Actually there is a spoiler, there is another eye cream in that BoxyCharm and that one I'm actually quite excited by too so it'll be a month of trying out new eye creams or actually maybe more likely a year of trying out new eye creams. So anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye.